Hi guys, me Daikash Brick right in this another video and today I'll be doing the unboxing for the Pac-Man Boeing 777-200 series in 1 to 144 kg in the rollout livery. So let's dive straight to this unboxing video right now. Alright then before I dive straight to unboxing this model right here, uh, let me just give you guys a uh, disclaimer first. If you, uh, if you guys are first time or you're just watching this video for the first time and wondering uh, what am I, uh, do I do unboxing of play models? Well, I do not do unboxing of play models. I mainly do unboxing of 1 to 18 scale model car systems. Uh, the reason why I'm, that I'm doing the unboxing for this model airplane is because I really like the 777 itself. So hence, I decided to get it and this time I, and, and in 1 to 144 scale. So I, I have no idea how big it is. The only biggest one I have referred to is will be my 112 Chiron right there itself. So yeah, hopefully this will be somewhat close to it itself. So yeah, other than that, let me just show you guys the outside the box right now. So from the outside the box itself, main thing uh straight at the back you see you get to see is this very nice picture of the Boeing Triple Seven Two Hundred series in the raw roll out livery uh that was unveiled in uh second June twelfth nineteen ninety four itself. So basically this is what the livery looked like when it first. When the triple seven two hundred series first unveiled back then itself, so yeah, and the best part is next year will be thirtieth anniversary. So yeah, that's another good thing itself. So yeah, um, right at the top we got the Boeing logo right here, which is very very nice, and the other side you got this very nice one hundred uh years of Boeing commemorative plaque, basically the year that is founded and the year I think the one hundred year itself, which is twenty sixteen itself. Other than that, um, you got more of the fallings right at the bottom, right here, telling you that this is a 777-200 series. What livery it is, in this case, is the rollout livery and the scale itself, which is 1 to 144 scale. Alright then, moving on to the bottom of the box itself. So, bottom of the box itself, you got all the specifications that you want to know about the 777-200 series itself. So, basically, its first flight was June 12, 1994. Its wingspan, its cross weight, its range, it's ceiling, I think like, uh, maybe this is the cooling attitude, it could go, probably, I, I don't, I have no idea, so correct me right in the comment section down right below. You got your cruising speed, which is 650 miles per hour, and yeah, that's basically it. Um, moving to one side of the box slide right here, you got the, more of the information you know about this model itself, which is the Boeing 777-200, it's a limited edition model with the, in the rollout livery, and one to 400 gear and the pack, this uh, economic class by pack mean itself, which I have no idea what it means itself. So yeah, on the other side of the box itself, you got just this plain simple box, uh, plain simple black uh, image with the pack mini right around with the bottom, which is the same on the other side. You got the QR, the barcode itself for this model itself, and that's basically it. Right at the top, you just got your Boeing logo right there, and uh, triple seven two hundred and that's basically it. Right at the back is just, uh, this is the official sticker or stamp approval from Boeing itself. More of the trademark logo right there. And more of the information that you want to know about this model itself. Other than that, let me just unbox for this. Unbox this model for you guys right now. Alright then, so yeah, I managed to remove the model from the box itself and this is basically what it looked like. One thing I'm quite shocked it, uh, that I realize it, it is not strapped on, like you do, you know, for some model itself that is basically self-assembled on upon Removing from the box itself, you expect some straps to be holding onto the model itself to prevent it from dropping off. Uh, somehow Pac-Man, I don't know how it, how it looked like when it's first brand new when you bought it straight from the Boeing Museum or whatever shit. But uh, yeah, basically this wing, this part right here just almost just dropped from the, just came out of the box itself, which is not a good thing, which I feel technically packaging could have been better. But hey, I'm not really going to complain about it. Uh, right now, I'm just going to go ahead and assemble this and show you guys how it looks like right beside my 1 to 12 scale uh, Bugatti Chiron from Auto Eye itself. So, alright then, so here it is, guys, the 1 to 144 scale Boeing 777 200 series. And yeah, basically, to, this is what it looks like at the moment without its stand on. Uh, uh, one thing to note is basically when you're installing the wings on the wings on either side itself it is a very tight fit so i understand maybe i can definitely see the quality in it uh because you do not really want to expect the wings on either side of the plane itself to drop off when you're displaying itself and yeah overall quality is quite 
superb you can definitely feel the weight of it uh basically the main fuselage is definitely there's some weight to it which i really like and it, 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 i can say it's quite similar to like the regular die cast method uh one thing one to 18 steel cars itself and if you're i mean if you're wondering how do you attach this base right itself to the the model of the plane itself basically there's this thing right here which you can just unscrew it and it, it will just basically just screw on it onto the model of the plane itself over one thing i as a uh, one downside that I really don't like about it is, uh, I wish, uh, Pat Ming would have placed the, uh, launch customer or launch airline that had placed, uh, orders for the triple seven two hundred back then in nineteen ninety four itself, rather than this very nice route delivery. Uh, even though I'm not really complaining about it, but it, I wish they had, I wish they had quite placed the the uh airline that had placed an order for the triple seven two hundred series itself, but. Other than that, let me just go ahead and screw it to the base itself and I'll show you how it looks like. So yeah. Alright then, so yeah, this basically this is how it looks like once I attach it to the base itself. So the procedure to do so is basically just to unscrew this thing right at the bottom and place it right in the, uh, place the screw or whatever thing that you just saw just now right in the front and screw it back on and voila. And this is how it looks like attached to the base itself. So right now I'm going to show you guys how it looks like in comparison to my 112 Chiron, which I think size wise is quite similar to it. Uh, yeah, I would say it's roughly quite similar to it itself. So, yeah, um, other than that, I don't really have much to tell you guys already, but I'm just gonna end this video right now. So, if you guys enjoy the video itself, do keep uh, do follow me on Instagram at Diecast Break, and my Instagram should pop right about here. And last but not least, the subscribe button down right below. See more videos like this, so please subscribe. And please see my two other videos. And with that, I'll see you guys in next, my next video. Peace.